Welcome everyone to a brand new Let's Play. As you can see this is the wonderfully produced and created Destroy All Humans. A little gem from my childhood that I never actually managed to finish. So we're going to play through the game as an adult and I'm going to finish it as an adult. This is a cracking old game where you destroy all humans. <laughs> I don't actually know how it goes but... Hello friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Five. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. Go, wait, stop the countdown. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word, constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him... Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some graniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. Where do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Oh yeah, this is going to be a fun let's play. Okay, so we've actually got some uh, things to archives. What's this? This looks like it's... Um... This is all extra stuff. I might go through all this. Oh, invasion report. Oh, that's just statistics. So this is, oh, this is like... Explanations for stuff. Okay, pretty cool. 
Uh, we've got the hangar. Let's first do our options. Yeah, all good. Let's turn on the music slightly and the sound effect. And yep, okay. Uh, display. Let's uh, put subtitles on. Ooh, one screen off or on? Let's put white screen on. Uh, progressive scan. Would you like a progressive scan? Let's try it. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working at all. That is definitely not working at all. So, hopefully this will go back. Oh, yep, okay, it's going back. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to stop messing about with all this stuff now. That's good for me. Okay. Pox's lab. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. So this is where we get our upgrades. We can upgrade crypto, upgrade the saucer. Just what you need, a bigger gun. Well, you could learn to better utilize your abilities. So that's basic basic stuff. Basically the uh Sorry. Basically the uh shop. So then we've got the hangar, which is actually where we go to um embark on missions. So turn turn up seed the farm. Destination Earth, let's go. Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. <laughs> Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! But they're covered in nipples. You can aim by physically manipulating the right analog stick. You can move about the area using the left analog stick. Okay, thanks for that. So we can lock on with L1 and scan to get what their to get what their thoughts are, which is a neat little thing. Okay, so let's go and meet the dominant species. I just explained that. Cortex scan. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. So primitive yet <laughs> profound. Scan another one. Primitive yet profound. <laughs> they eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creature. 
This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Psychokinesis. Target carry and press and hold the L1 button. The PK ability has appeared in the triangle button. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis. Target an object or creature, then hold the L1 button. Keep holding, then tap the triangle button to lift the target into the sky. And we're doing it. We can bring it in, we can bring it out. And we can push it away. It does take, that little bar in the top left will go down and deplete, but it kind of, you know, goes, fills back up a little quick, really quickly. Hold L1 button, then hurl the bovines by double tapping triangle button. Or I can just use one cow to kill the other. I've just explained that metal bar. It's basically, so that's your concentration bar, essentially. Oh. And let's play go bowling. Mmm, Martha. You didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's holy mother of... Martha, give me the shotgun! And we've got our first weapon, the Zapomatic. It fires a continuous beam of electricity, drains the batteries, sweep them recharge. Attention. Pretty you simple. You in fact have weapons. Just hold the R1 button. Try it now. Give that puny farmer a taste of the old Zapomatic! Bring it on! Brain extraction. This is probably quite important to get Furon DNA. So you, you do, they don't have to be dead to do this. But it takes a lot of concentration to do it. Harold! Come on, Mac! You've got to see this! They got a talking horse on the TV! I ain't never seen nothing like... Not green. And we're presented by shields. If you can come up for a short period of time, we'll give the shield time to recharge. Easily enough. Right, so what do we need to do? We need to kill people. Which is Crypto's speciality. Oh, my ears must have been fooling me. I'm afraid of you, space boy. So it takes a lot more concentration to extract their DNA if they're alive than it does if they're dead. So let's just kill them before extracting DNA. 25 DNA from that one. I think the smarter they are, the more DNA we get from the brains. Makes sense. Right, let's go. We've got more people to kill. Oh yeah, you dead. I'm sorry, but you just dead. At what point do you just give in? Evening, Ms. Turnipseed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What is that? A new silo? Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum! Oh, the Furonity! Vaporize them, Crypto! Maybe we shouldn't have left it part out in the open so much. Oh yeah, you're dead. Ah! 
Yo! Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! Give me some time, I've got brains to extract. 50 DNA. Oh, that one only had 10. And 10 again. Okay. So, can we lift this thing? <clears throat> A little bit too uh, big for us to lift. But let's enter the saucer. As you can see, this is pretty much like a tutorial mission. And now we're in the saucer. Things are gonna get fun now. Use your left analog stick to propel the saucer forwards and backwards. And a strafe left and right. To turn the saucer, use the right analog stick. Death Ray. Very adequately named. It can overheat. Um, but what, if, it, if it doesn't overheat, then it kind of, you know, uh, recuperates dead quick. So now we've just got to destroy all the farms, essentially. Which is fine by me. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to aim. The saucer uh, at the beginning, it can take, like, a, not take a lot of damage. And the saucer can only land in, like, certain areas. It definitely can't just land wherever you fancy. Yeah, we're just destroying this farm. Well, this is our property now. We can do with it as we please, right? Oh, that's a human. Definitely obliterates humans. Like, it just destroys them instantly, essentially. Move out, man! Move! 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 I don't know, but I've been told Joe McCarthy's good at Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. So obviously the tank needs to go. It's the first uh, problem. The biggest one. And they're all dead. So yeah, <laughs> going up against the UFO, how did that work out for you? Source takes damage, the hull integrity is reduced. Show the top right, only way to repair the hull is to find a repair pod. Pox drops them in when you destroy certain buildings. So that doesn't recuperate on its own. Oh, they're trying to sneak in at me. Whoa, and he almost got me there. Humans are making a final push! Wipe them out once and for all! This is like, this is a lot of hardware for the military to scramble and like short notice. Did you guys just have these tanks just sitting in this area? Yeah, your source, I'm being very, I'm evading a lot because your source can't take that much damage um, from enemy tanks. To begin with, anyway. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the US Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it, Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Damn right it's on, and that's mission complete. Cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. <laughs> uh, and then you've got the who's the next Miss Roswell as well. Interesting. I love this game, I don't know why I've never finished it before. DNA harvesting. You will need to land a saucer to harvest DNA. On the grunts on the ground, you can gather more DNA by shooting brain stems, completing side missions, and collecting fuel on probes. You'll be notified when you have collected enough DNA to unlock the next mission. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Okay, so there's a lot. So we need to get uh, 250 DNA to unlock the next mission. 
Now we can do that by doing side missions or just killing people and taking their brains. They all are op valid options, so all those people that we just killed have just returned to life. Oh, we've got the anal probe! Just cycle up to the anal probe. Press R1, giving button to fire the anal probe, giving the target a mild probe. This causes them to grab their buttocks and run for the hills. Press and hold the R1 button to charge up the anal probe. The pure shock of this super probe will cause their target's head to explode. A juicy DNA rich fresh brainstem. So we can switch weapons with R2. And let's obviously, if we're going to do this, this video has to have some probing in it. Oh, that didn't actually do anything. It must not have been charged up enough. I was trying to hurt you. Well, not much. And he got a nice juicy brainstem. Come on. You got a bank of cows. Right up the bum. Ah. Uh, what can I say? It's fun probing humans. Can I probe the chicken? Can let me probe the chicken. I can probe the chicken. Does it like let me go? No, it doesn't. I oh, it doesn't do the same. Oh, that's that's fine. Right. Okay. So we need some more DNA. We could always do this side mission or two, but why do that when we can just probe people? Yo! It's a good day to die, you little maester! Yep, good day to get a probe with the ass as well. Oh. Oh, hey, that actually hurt. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Not you. Oh, and we got a little probe there. You can select the next mission by upgrades and view the archives from the Fuhrer on Mothership. So we just got a probe, which is kind of like a collectible kind of thing. They're just scattered about the area. And we can now technically go to the Mothership. But before I do the next mission, I'm going to be doing lots of um, mission goals. When you're ready to return to the mission, Fuhrer Handbook. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be doing some of these side quests. Uh, some of them are just kind of like, you know, like Armageddon. It's it's, it's, it's kind of like, um, some of them are just like little side little things. So just kind of races and stuff like that. Typical side quest type things. Bring it on, Baldy. Baldy? I am very sensitive about my height, I will have, you know. So if you go over here, what one have we got over here? Yeah, what is this? This is Turned Speed Terror. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here and then when we come back we'll be doing some of these uh, side missions. I count three of them at the very least. Possibly a fourth all the way over there. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for further content for myself, for 95 if you want to get in touch with me, me, go to any of these social media in the description box below or leave a comment in the comment section below. I always love hearing from you guys. In the description box, you can find my Facebook, my Twitter, my Twitch, and my Instagram. And as always, it was a pleasure to have you, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.